Hi guys, I'm June from 3Q Bros, and today I'll be doing a review on this Pyramix. Uh, this is an Edison Pyramix. Uh, so, this cube is very simple. Uh, you can't. This does not corner cut at all. This does not reverse corner cut at all, as you can see. I can try, but... See, it's, it, it doesn't work, so no. And the Pyramix is a very simple puzzle, and it is the easiest of the Minx series. Uh, there are twisting corners, which does not really affect the difficulty of the puzzle. However, these layers will also turn, which actually make this cube a puzzle. So, the sticker quality of this cube is fairly good. Uh, I, I have used this cube quite a lot, and there's no chipping or no peeling. And yeah, the sticker quality is quite good. The turning is not very good, it's a bit rough, and you can see, well, you can hear that it's very clicky. So yeah, it's not the best. Also, this cube hasn't been lubricated, and that might be why it's so slow and clicky. But yeah, so I basically suggest this cube for anyone who wants to collect more cubes, or maybe even finish their Minx collection. Like, I, I got this cube so I could finish my Minx collection. Uh, not really for cube, speed cubers, as it is not a fast pyraminx, and it is also not a real good speed cube. Uh, so yeah, I just suggest this for collectors, mainly. Uh, since uh, this review may be a bit short, I will also do a tutorial on this. I have learned how to do this intuitively, and it is not very difficult. And if you do already know or find out how to solve a pyraminx, then you can go ahead and just do something else now. But for those who don't know how to quite solve one yet, I will do a tutorial on that now. So I'll just scramble up this pyraminx. Okay, that seems good enough. So the first step is to orient all the corners. Since the corners rotate individually, it's very easy. Just match up all the stickers. This is a blue, yellow, green. So match it up, so blue, yellow, green. Do that with all four corners. And now you should have something like this, because all the corners are correct and oriented properly. Uh, what I like to do is I start with the yellow side on the bottom. So the blue, red, and green are on the top. The first step is to get these double yellow pieces, not the single yellow pieces, the double yellow pieces onto the bottom. Ignore everything else for this step. So you have this double yellow over here, and you want that on the bottom. So you just rotate it so it's now on the bottom. And then you find the other one, do the same thing. And now you should have this. Now you have to insert all three of the edges correctly. So since this is incorrect, we'll ignore that for now. And we'll insert this one, the blue-yellow edge. Uh, the blue-yellow has to go here. So we'll move this away. We'll move up where it has to go. And then we'll match it up with the other two yellow pieces and then bring it back down. And that will correctly put that into place. So let's try that again, but with the opposite side. Since this has to go here, we'll just move it away, move up where it has to go, match it up with the other two yellow pieces, and bring it back down. And with the last one as well, move it away, bring it up, place it in, match it with the other yellows, and move it back down. So now what you should have is a completely cr solved bottom. and only these three edges, or possibly two, or you might be solved. You might have a solved pyraminx. But anyways, the bottom should be solved. And now, there are several cases that you may get while in this last step, and you just intuitively place everything. So since this has to go here, the blue-green has to go in the blue-green slot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down and then place it in correctly which involves moving this here and this here and I just place, place it in correctly and then I do the same thing with the other side so this has to go here so I'll do the same and then this has to then you finish what you've me messed up and the last step is quite intuitive and it requires just intuitive solving there are several cases, but I can't go through them all. But yeah, that's basically how you solve the pyraminx. Um, for the last step, it is not that difficult to find out how to solve the last few edges. 
you just correctly place some of the pieces so that you can finish the cube all together. So, yeah, I guess that is how you solve a pyraminx. Even though this was quite brief and it may have not been like too accurate and not very good in a sense that I didn't go over all the cases. However, that is the main idea of how you solve a pyraminx. So that was a review on the Edison pyraminx and a tutorial on how to solve the pyraminx. Uh, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.